Hello everybody, my name is Nico Suiscoon. My parents, they are from Colombia. In case you didn't know, Colombia is in South America. It has beautiful weather and there's a variety of food and places you can go to. Today, I'm gonna show you one of the most typical foods. They're called arepas. They're commonly eaten throughout everywhere in Colombia. You can eat them for breakfast, lunch, or dinner, or just accompany them with any Colombian plate you so choose. Here are your ingredients for the arepas. This here is called harina pan. You can find it at your local Latino store. This, you know, just some classic vegetable oil. You can find that at your local supermarket or something. Then we also have some salt here. And lastly, water. So here we have the measurements of everything all taken out. Here, this right here is two cups of harina pan. We're gonna throw that in there first. It works better if you mix all the dry ingredients first. Second is two teaspoons of salt. One. Two. And then also three tablespoons of oil. Okay. Now here you have two and a half cups of hot water. We're gonna pour that in, but not all at once, just gradually. You gradually do this, but as you, you have to mix everything. Okay. You see, the trick here is if you feel that your dough is getting too rough or too grainy, you just throw in that water so you can get a nice, soft, consistent dough. Because that's what's going to make accent the overall flavor in general. See, so just keep on kneading at that thing. So as you're mixing this, you gotta kind of feel the texture. If it's a little too like soft and grainy, <clears throat> you can just throw a little more water in there. But like sometimes it gets too salty for some people. Me personally, I kind of like it salty. So you just kind of gotta taste it. If it gets too salty, you can also just throw a little more arena pan and a little bit more water and then just mix that in there. So right here we got everything <clears throat> we're gonna need to cook them. Here, is the nice little masa we've made. Then right here is the griddle we're gonna use to cook them. I realize not everyone has a griddle, but if you do, set the temperature at 350. If not, just use a pan about medium heat setting. Here also is this nice little formula of water and oil. So now we're just gonna get your fingers, dab them up in the water a little bit. Now you gotta get your masa, you gotta make it into a ball. Sometimes it's a little too small, but just don't be shy, put a little more in there until you get that nice size of it that you want. Once you have it there, like right here, roll it up into a ball. Then slowly, once you've got a nice ball, you gotta like pat it down, little by little. Make sure it's all spread out evenly. You can do it however thick you want it or however thin. Right here, personally, I think this is the perfect size for me. Now let's check if our griddle is hot. Toasty. We're just gonna lay that on there. See that nice sizzling? That's the sound of flavor. So now we're gonna grab some more and just keep on making them. Once again, don't be shy, put some more. Okay. So right here while our arepas are cooking, I'm gonna get started on making some scrambled eggs. I'm gonna make them right now because breakfast at night, it's a nice feeling, you know? Quite a warm feeling. Okay. So as you can see, we have everything set up. We've got our arepas at a nice, crisp brown color, or sometimes burn, because some people prefer it. Here we're gonna stop them breakfast out. I've got scrambled eggs and provolone cheese, and also butter, because who doesn't love butter? Okay. We're gonna cut this puppy open. Make sure you get a nice even cut. Take in the whiff, the aroma of flavors. And now, you just put some butter on it. And 
and now cheese, and then some egg. Let's get that egg on there. Now, here are breakfast style arepas. Just remember though, you can fill them up with anything from beef and chicken to beans and lettuce or whatever you choose. Thank you for watching everybody.